Hi, my cyber angels. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot, and this is your card for the 8th of January. And I've just used one deck and I've split it. So this is your card. And I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot uh, on YouTube and Buddy Advice on Facebook. And please hit that subscribe button and the bell. Then you can join us tonight when I go live. Free cards are given out. If you've got a specific question, then please use the dollar sign and a super chat and follow the instructions and I'll give you a specific answer. And otherwise, it will be just free cards. All right, this is for Capricorn. Capricorn. You've got the chariot if you've chosen one. I would choose both of them, but you can choose one or two. Okay, you are, you've got public recognition. And that means that uh, somebody might have an eye on you. So you might be going uh, upwards and forwards. Well, you will be going upwards and forwards. You might get a promotion. You might get a new job. Woohoo! Nice one! Or you might be going on holiday. And you might be moving home with this card. But somebody could have an eye because there is public recognition. But it could also be your boss. Okay? And your boss might give you a, a promotion. Or there might be an other person. They call that a headhunter. And he might offer you a job as well. Or you might be meeting a, a, a cancer because cancer is represented by um, the chariot. Okay. So you, somebody might have an eye on you. Recognition means you're in the spotlight. Victory as well. If you've chosen the card too, you've got the hanged man Capricorn. That means delays. And um, that means something is pending. Perhaps it means to uh, take time out. It's also a spiritual card. Meditation. If you don't meditate, then take a time out and sit quietly. Evaluate the situation at hand or a question that you have. Okay. And evaluate it. And perhaps you might get new ideas to help you with the situation. The delay could be four hours, four days, four weeks or four months. Okay, we're going on to Aquarius. And Aquarius, you couldn't have a better card. Celebrations are in the air. Okay, so great, great stuff. Unexpected changes. You've got the tower. Something was not built on proper foundations. And I always say, don't be scared of the tower. Take it, because it's the universe and the angels have taken... Um, the chance to give you this new beginning. There's one door closed and 20 are opening. There's more possible. You're leaving the old BS behind because you you were past it. You didn't make the decision. You didn't make the change. So the universe and the angels thought, let's give them a change. They need a new beginning. They should learn from the past. So, if something is not being built on proper foundations, it will not last. So, don't do things in haste. Learn from the past. Okay, Aquarius. Don't do the same thing again, otherwise you'll get the tower back. Okay. Go for it. We're, and take it as an adventure and excitement. Now we're going to Pisces. Pisces, you've got the Hierophant, and the Hierophant is a man of an institution, a man of, well, yes, institution. So he could also belong to a municipality. So you might be seeking advice from a man, a professional man that works in a municipality or belongs to a municipality or an institution. You can seek advice from him. Could be a bookkeeper, a judge, an advocate, a lawyer, a doctor, whom you name it. But you could also be meeting a Taurus. Okay, Pisces. And he might give you advice. He doesn't have to be professional, because, but the higher than does represent Taurus. Okay. 
and um, it could be a father figure or an older man, mature man, and you've got the Four of Cups. So there is an offer from the universe. You are just focused on what uh, focusing on what is happening in front of you instead of what is happening around you. Please don't focus on what is in front of you, but what is happening around you. Okay, my darlings. There's beautiful things. There's more things on offer than you realize. But be conscious. Don't be depressed. Don't be sitting in your head. Come into action. Otherwise, nothing will help uh, or get started or being done or change. So take that offer. Have a look at, around you, what you can do, what you have, and what you can start putting into action. And more offers will come on your way okay as you've got the sorry not the four of cups you've got the page of cups so i'm sorry uh, i'm only human human i'm only the messenger so don't shoot me so but have a look you've got to get getting news okay there's something on offer like i said don't focus just what is in front of you because the story behind this and that's the the, his, uh, the folklore uh, history is that this boy was so pretty that his mother didn't um, leave him go outside or look in her mirror. But one day he went outside, got a cup and filled it with water, saw his own reflection and fell in love with himself. So in other words, don't focus on what is in front of you. There's more around you. Okay. Don't be idle. Uh, because it doesn't do you any good. It will bite you in the butt. Okay, get out of your head. Take action. Take that offer. Think about it. It could be an offer of love. It could be news of love. It could be news of a new job. Something that you're passionate about or something that you love to nurture. Perhaps a new pit. Okay, sorry about the Four of Cups. But have a look around you, because he's involved in himself. He's in his little world. At least that's what I'm getting from this card. And in the end, he couldn't stand his reflection because he fell in love with himself. He didn't know what to do, so he died in the end. I don't know the exact story anymore, but that's what happened. So don't fo focus on one thing. Get advice. Okay, if you don't, if you can't, Decide what to do, get advice, get help. Never ever be scared of asking for assistance or help. That's the lesson in this little reading. Now we're going on to Aries. Aries, you've got strength. So you are in your strength. You know what it is uh, to be strong. And you know that love and patience heals and it will take time to get to where you are by healing and having patience okay awesome lovely lovely card now your second card aries is the six of pentacles somebody might be coming back from the past and they might be giving you a little present it is my share and share alike the six six of pentacles and i think some i don't know why but that's a message for perhaps some of you, not all of you, because the Six of Pentacles is give and take, take and give or share. Um, you might get a gift today, but I'm hearing somebody's coming back from the past. There's been a lot going on and you're, you're still in your strength. You've learned. So something has happened, perhaps with somebody from the past, but they might seek your help now. Perhaps you are rich and you're giving them a gift or listening ear or a helping hand. If, if it's the other way around that you don't have enough, then you might receive, receive a listening ear or a helping hand or a gift today. Okay, Aries. Take care. Right, we're going to Taurus now. And Taurus, you've got the Two of Pentacles. And that means trying to balance your money. Perhaps ba um, balancing 
your work and home front or your heart and soul or your heart and mind. You are hard working and it feels like if you're going round and round in circles in your mind, perhaps you have to get out of your mind. And, um, well, he's standing still. He's got a lot of work to do. He's done a lot of work, but perhaps you should go back to work and start again and not be focusing on your thoughts. Try to distract yourself and find your balance in your work. Perhaps that is the message. Look, if you go back to work and you get out of your mind, you can make a decision and look what is going to happen. You've got the three of pentacles. You might get a promotion. You've got definitely got recognition. Awesome. So I'm doing it wrong again, guys. Sorry. No, I'm not. I'm not. That was Taurus. That's Taurus. Now we're going on to Gemini. Okay, Jimmy, Jim, Jims, you, I was doing it right. You've got the Knight of Wands. Woo! You are going to get news tomorrow. This could be about work. This could be about something that you're passionate. Or that could be a hobby. Or this could be meeting a fire sign. Aries, Leo or a Sagittarius. Woo! And I love this card. It's so beautiful because that's the horse... Pegasus, and that is the story in this card, Pegasus, the horse that could fly. You can see, I think it is the lion underneath trying to snarl at his ankles. Okay, be careful. Snarl, snarl. I've got the word snarl because of the lion. It's not a proper lion, though it's a, some symbolic myth, mystical figure. Half lion, half something else, but it's too small for me to see in this light. Um, but somebody might be snarling at you today. Be careful what you um, what you say and how you react, my darling. Just take it, say, show them the hand, talk to the hand if they snarl at you, and just walk away. Just fly away like Pegasus does. But if you get the news, from the Knight of Wands, then act upon it swiftly and directly. That's the message also in the card. And you might have to defend yourself. You might get news so that you feel that you have to defend yourself. As you've got the Seven of Wands, you've definitely got fire sign around you. So if you, somebody, if you are in a judicial situation, you might get news about your case. And you might feel you have to defend yourself, but you can, because you can stand your ground, Gemini. You're strong enough. You can sell ice cubes to Eskimos. You've got the gift of the gab. You can do the talk, so do the walk. Now we're going on to Cancer. Cancer, you've got the Queen of Swords. This lady knows what she wants, and she's very clear and very sharp. Mentally, verbally and physically she's like a ship through the night it's like a bat out of hell she cuts straight through to the core and gets clarity honesty and justice she has her emotions on in check and she's got a good listening ear and she will fight for you until death she's sharp though so watch out, she can also be sharp-tongued. So be careful, don't take everything um, seriously. Take it with a bit of pinch of salt. If she's, if she's sharp with her tongue, then ask what she means. Make it clear, just say, can I have some clarity, please? You're good at that. What do you mean? Okay. This is a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarian. They are quick thinkers. So Cancer, be careful because you are sensitive and sometimes they are too quick for you. Okay, if you've chosen number one, you've got the Emperor. And the Emperor, ooh, he can be an Aries. 
you don't have the ram's heads here, but he's got the world in his hand and he's a strict ruler. He's an advisor. This could be a doctor, a lawyer, a bookkeeper. Um, he's a wise man. So you might seek advice from an older, mature man, uh, from a, doctor, a father figure or a professional. And uh, he might not be very clear. But, so you might take a friend along. That is a, an air sign to get clarity. Because she fights for, just, for justice. Okay, sorry about that. That was Millie. Now we're going on to Leo. Leo, you've got the world. So what comes around, goes around. An end of a situation. This is the snake eating itself. An end of a face. Okay, that's a mystical story as well. Okay. There might, and the snake is, you can also see the snake with um, uh, medical emblems uh, behind, by the chemist and uh, in hospitals, the parking tickets from the, in the window screen uh, of doctors. You also see a serpent with the spear. So um, there might be an end to illness. Your health will improve, could go up a next level. Also, a relationship might go up a next level. Um, you you are in balance, definitely with yourself, the masculine and the feminine. In this card, you can see the man and the woman. Okay, uh, you've come full circle. Okay, you might be moving home, going on holiday. You're definitely balanced. Perhaps a promotion at work as it tur as, as the wheel turns. And this is the world, so the world is your oyster. New job, beautiful, beautiful card. Karma card, if you've done good, you get it back threefold. If you've done bad, you get it back threefold. And if somebody's done it to you, then they will get it back as well. You've got the two ones. You are making plans for the future, Leo. Now we're going on to Virgo. Virgo, you've got the High Priestess. And the High Priestess keeps things to herself. She's got the knowledge of two worlds, the Dark World and the uh, Earth. That's the Underworld and Earth. She can travel between the two worlds. Perhaps you can travel between the rich and the uh, uh, ordinary folk. So perhaps you are flexible and you, uh, uh, you can adapt, okay? And you can do this by your intuitiveness, your emotions, and your spirituality. You're a very sensitive person. Okay, Virgo. So be aware on what, how you act and what you say. Listen to your intuition and your spirituality. You might have trust. Trust yourself more and others as well. And keep quiet like the High Priestess. Be elegant and just be there and observe and say what you have to say when the time is right. Then you've got the Five of Cups. Don't, don't cry over spilt milk. There in this deck it's only one cup still standing. You can't change the past, you can only change the present and the future. Take that cup then have a look. Don't look in front of you. Look beyond, around you. And you'll see you've got more than you realise. The High Priestess knows that. Everybody does. You've got your emotions. You've got your uh, independence because she's alone. And you've got a new beginning because the pillars are there and the angels and the universe are giving you a new beginning. A new beginning to make more of the present, to change the present and the future. Okay, we're going on to Libra. And Libra, you've got the Six of Cups. Somebody might be coming back from the past. Okay, and might be giving you a gift. Might be giving you a gift. You might be reminiscing about the past and missing something about the past. Okay. I would even say with this card, 
there might be a reconciliation with somebody from the past. And you've got the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles means you are getting recognition for your hard work. Also, you might be starting a new study or doing a workshop. Okay. Um, you might want to leave a legacy behind for the next generation. Ooh. Perhaps you've learned from the past and you want to leave something behind now. Something new and something better. Okay, Libra. That would be awesome, especially if you have children or family. Now we're going on to Scorpio. And Scorpio, it's time for you to take time out, either to sit quietly or to meditate. Okay? Um, because the hermit takes time out, time and again, um, because he wants to lighten his load, because he is always a traveller, and he's got the scythe. So cut with the BS from the past, lighten your load and take with you what you have learned, your wisdom and your life experience and pass it on to third parties. And always, you always carry that everlasting burning light to give you light on your path so you know which way you are going. Okay, you've got the five or ones that might be come competition i'm sorry competition around you and the five of ones means there might have been disagreements but they're not really extensive or bad um there could have been a word disagreement but it's short-lived don't worry perhaps that's why you are doing a retreat it's also competition competition is healthy okay keeps you on your toes Ooh, nice one so you've got the negative side here and you've got the positive side. Okay. Okay, we're going to Sagittarius. Last but not least, you've got the Ace of Cups. Perhaps a new love or a new job. Something that you can, where you can express your emotions. Your, your love for this job, this career your vocation, perhaps you know what you want and you really want to let it loose because you're full of fire Sagittarius and you're always active, you're overactive sometimes to so take it gently, mellow out, nurturing perhaps you might want a job in something that you in care like uh, working with people, um, nurturing people uh, guiding people, that's nurturing. It could be teaching, could be anything. Or you might need a Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces. And you might have sleepless nights because you might have been worrying about a new love. Well, if it's a new love, it is a water sign. And they are love, passion and nurturing. Okay. You might have had sleep on sleepless nights, but there is an ending, new beginning. But well, this card is an ending and a new beginning. Don't listen to the stooches or the voices in your head. Don't doubt yourself. Have more trust. Nurture yourself a little bit more and take time out for necessary rest, if that is the case. And that is nurturing as well. Then you can stay active and be yourself. Ooh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, I hope to see you tonight, my darlings. And if you're new, then please subscribe and hit that bell and the thumbs up. Even if the thumbs down doesn't matter, you'll stay in the alpha rhythm. Okay, and you'll get notified. Okay, take care and... Sleep tight and have a beautiful, blessed day on the 8th of January. These were your cards for the 8th of January. See you later. Ciao, ciao.